So we kept track of the different breeds a little bit with the plucker not working, they kind of got us frazzled, so I know which chickens are which. I know some chickens and what breed they are. So let's weigh up this one. It's a bog rock, so three pounds. It's just under. Let me see the three. Oh, I see. Do, and you can set that in. Right here. You want it? What's that? No. I thought you should do um, get different color. Yeah. Yep. This is going do? to be the bar rock. Four pounds. The biggest difference I noticed with the bar rock and the other breeds, the bar rocks had a lot more internal fat on them, and it was a lot yellower, which is good for soups and broth and all that good stuff. And that was the big difference I noticed. Most of the birds seemed right around the same size, average wise. I'm gonna find out now. What's that one? This one is three, three and three quarters of a pound. What, what kind of bird? This one was one of the white ones. Okay. We're gonna have a barred rock here. Uh, three and a half pounds. How do you know that far? I can tell by the feathers. The white ones got in the plucker, and the bod rocks and the other breeds oh, did not. We only had a couple. We only had a, like six or seven of the white ones. Okay, this is a white one. Three and a half pounds. Uh, this is a bard rock. That was little. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's three off. pounds. Is that all? Is what off? That. Scalder? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's just it's a little hot water. Hey, you can't fill that too. I can't carry all of them. Oh, well, I'll give them this. We've got to find a proper place to put them for now. This is another barred rock. Um, three and three quarters of a pound. This is a white one. Three and three quarters of a pound. This is going to be another white one. Three and a quarter pounds. Three pounds, one quarter. Another white one. Three, white three pounds. This is white? a white one. No, far dark. Three and a half pounds. White one, three and a quarter pounds. This is a bar mark. Four pounds. No, three and a half. So all of them have been pretty even, consistent so far. Bar mark. Three and a quarter. Three and a half. I was gonna say it. Just over three and a half. Bar rock. This one's probably three and a quarter. That's what I was gonna say. Three and a half. Really? Yeah. Yeah, three and a half. Look big. Oh, it gets out of your now. Must be the cold. I think it's the cold there. Bar rock. Three, uh, four pounds. Uh, oh. You know we finished on that's like four pounds. Uh, three and three quarters. We were both wrong. I was going to say four pounds. Mm -hmm. 
Let me guess before you put it on. Which one is this? This is going to be a white one. Three and a half. Three and a quarter. Well, you get to touch No, it. three and a half. It's not fair. Three and a quarter. Really? Yeah. Well, that's wrong. Perfect. Look. Perfect that I was wrong? No, perfect that yeah. I can put away. Yeah. The cutting board's still nice. They held up nice. Well, this side may get washed down. You know what I'm saying? Three and Five three quarter. Yeah, that's what my guess is. Maybe three. Ooh, the lightest one so far. Two and three quarters of a pound. For real? Wow. What is that? Bar bark. Three and two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. And this. So on the on the heritage meat birds, they're all pretty well consistent on weights with the breeds. Doesn't matter which one. The biggest difference, like I said, was the fat. I noticed Bard Rock had a lot more fat on them. I wonder how much the fat weighs compared to meat. I'm sure somebody knows. I'm sure somebody knows, but I don't. So they probably don't have any more meat on them, weight-wise, because there was a few bigger Bard Rocks. They probably just have more fat on them. I know the Bard Rocks taste good. Well, they just, and if they're layers, they lay good eggs. They do lay good eggs, too. Good eggs, yes, good they lay, lay good eggs, and they're good meat birds. So they're a great dual purpose bird. And we've never had any trouble in the wintertime. No, they're a very hardy breed. They do good over the winter for us. So next year, we're going to have to try raising some Red Ranger roosters, or we'll have to try raising some Red Ranger meat birds. They're a heritage breed but they're for specifically meat. So they should get bigger than heritage breeds do on the same on less feed. Have so we had any Icelandics that have we eaten? We have not eaten any Icelandics yet. Which we won't unless we have roosters. Right, and we do have a couple of roosters, but they're not big enough to bother. I mean, I think you'd get like two and a half pounds of a carcass out of them. Yeah, we'll see how they do in the winter. Time. Yeah, we'll see how they do in the winter. They're cool looking. They're neat looking. I like them how they're all different. None of them look the same, mm -hmm. except for the black ones. They kind of all look the same, but, but they don't though, because their feathers are different. Right, like they the way like, they sit. And they have different like tinge to them. Some of them have like a purple or a blue, teal. a teal to them. So they are different. I'm very pleased with the counter block, the butcher blocks, cotton boards. They held up good. Pretty. Pretty. Oh, they're going. Put some lard on them the last time, or just wipe the lard in there that was on here to seal it, and it's repelling the water nicely. Don't smell. Oh, it's supposed to smell? No. I don't know if the lard would. It's very clean lard. And our pork broth is very good in our soup today. Yes, we didn't bring it along when we had lunch. We left the camera outside, and I didn't want to come back out to get it. But the stew we made that we used, the pork broth, was awesome. So the way we made that broth last weekend was is we took the head, so we put, let me start off, we filled the pot with water, we put celery, onions, celery, onions, carrots, and garlic in it, and some parsley. Then we added a trotter, which is the foot, a tail, four ears, two hawks, and four head halves in there. We let it simmer all day long and kept checking it and stirring it. Anytime like a nasty fuzziness or a foam came up, we skimmed it off. And so if you boil it, that foam will just keep turning into the broth and it'll be in your broth. It won't rise to the top so you can't skim it off and then it'll just be like a nasty broth. So we kept doing that all day long, took the heads out and all the meat out and the vegetables, and then we put all the meat on top of the table, separated the meat from the bones, saved the meat, the meat's what we made the head to tail terrini with, and then we saved some of the broth, we took out I think a gallon of broth, 
rendered that down even farther, made a gravy, and added that to the terrini, and the rest of the leftover broth, we canned it, and we used some of it today in our stew. It was delicious, and even Olivia said, Dad, this stew is a lot better with the pork broth versus chicken broth. Mm -hmm. She did. She did. Because I kind of forgot about even putting it in. I right. was really been busy, and she said something. And she yeah. knew it right away, so that's cool. It's nice having a kid that can tell that stuff. Like, we don't, like, we'll tell her up front, this is this, or this chicken is this, and she'll know. She'll be like, oh, I like the barred rock chicken better. It's got more flavor. Or I like this broth better. I can taste it. She's very aware of that kind of stuff, which is neat. So if we forget, she reminds us. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. It was fun going through and over everything. It was a bummer. We didn't get to process all of the meat birds, but I'll do the next 25 next weekend, which will be fine. So but it was fun to go through the weights and see that the averages are all about the same. So one breed over the other breed wasn't that big of a difference. So good to know. We'll just have to see if we can taste, taste the difference. I don't think we'll be able to taste a huge difference here and there. Maybe a little bit. But well, like I said, it, probably if we had them side by side like, at the same time. But right. We'd we had cooked, so. We cooked two at once. We yeah. might be able to tell. But we, we wouldn't be able to eat two chickens at once. Not us. <laughs> so, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps the channel grow, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.